The most basic signs in baseball are between a pitcher and a catcher to determine what pitch they're going to throw. The idea is for the pitcher to get the hitter off balance. A catcher puts down a one, it could be for fastball, two, curveball, three, slider, four, changeup. For years and years and years, it's been up to the pitcher and the catcher to come up with a way to conceal their signs and confuse the runner so that they can't signal to the hitter um, what pitch is coming. The Astros had a camera installed in center field that was separate from uh, all the other kind of electronic equipment that was allowed that honed in on the catcher's signs. They brought a video monitor much closer to the dugout where players could go back and look at it. If a catcher was saying, um, we're going to use our second sign, so he puts out a one, a two, and a three, the only one that matters is the two. They're able to watch a few batters worth of pitches and figure out, okay, they're using the second sign. Now we can watch for the second sign and relay that pitch to the hitter. If it was an off-speed pitch, which was a curveball or changeup, something that's slower, then they would bang on the, on the trash can. The hitter out in the batter's box, not that far away, would hear it even through the crowd noise and be able to react accordingly to what was coming in. It melds both like high technology because they're using all the video stuff that they're not supposed to use and like really crude technology and banging a bat against this trash can. And it wouldn't have come to light if, if Mike Fires, a pitcher on the Astros team, uh, in 2017 hadn't uh, admitted in, a, in a, an interview with The Athletic that this is what was going on. He did not feel comfortable about it at the time. A couple years removed, he thought it was important to tell his new team, we're playing Houston, this is what they're up to. Um, it was not a containable thing. Astros were not gonna be Astros for life. There's also, you know, what sort of deterrent are the punishments that the Astros have faced. I have higher standards for the city and the franchise today. I have made the decision to dismiss A.J. Hinch and Jeff Lunau. That 2017 World Series championship is also tainted in the minds of pretty much anybody in baseball. It is very clear that baseball is putting it on the management of these teams to oversee their dugouts, their clubhouses, to make sure that they're not cheating because their jobs are on the line. I mean, there's so much, so many ways to look at what cheating is in baseball. The scandal that defined uh, the last era was um, performance enhancing drugs and how that allowed individual players to break records. Baseball has always been a sport about numbers. It really treasures its numbers, but this sort of like searching in the margins and at the edges for these advantages is really kind of a newer development. When you lock in to watch a game, you expect a fair fight. Both these teams are playing by the same rules. Now we know that the Astros had an advantage all along the way. Fans uh, are permitted to go into this season with a skeptical eye, saying, how do we know that these teams are playing on a level playing field?